when is the singer coming on? Uh-huh. <laughs> Show you another little thing. We had a band. I was with uh, one of Cannonball Adley's first bands, Em and Nat, and uh, Junior Mance and Sam Jones and myself. So they used to play a little place in the little town where Cannon was teaching school called Poggy, Poggies or something. I think his name Poggies or something like that. Mm-hmm. The guy had a club and they would go in and play. But Nat used to sing and it was Nat's band and Cannon was just in <laughs> Nat's band because Nat was a singer. Singer, yeah. You know, so. See, they hired the singers. <laughs> yeah, they hired the singers because, you know, that's what they liked in, the, in this yeah. place. So they left town and got this band and we was out playing bebop and stuff and we came back and the guy gave us gave us gave him a gig you know because he knew he yeah. bring this little guy so we got in there we played the first set we playing that little bebop stuff <laughs> the guy came up on the stand and says uh when is the little guy gonna sing <laughs> so, so kind of said uh, we don't do that no more the guy said, uh, Pack up your stuff. <laughs> ooh, ooh, wee. Ooh, buddy, that's cold. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Say, well, yeah. Get on out of here with that yeah. stuff. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that shows that it really takes an educated ear to, yeah, hear, well, you know, to hear the sophistication of what somebody is doing. Now, they, they weren't ready for what we were doing. You know, they was ready for what Nat was doing yeah. before. You know, like he yeah. was singing Whoa, Babe and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, that's what they liked. And yeah, that's what they. He yeah. can do that now, but he he, he don't do it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then he, he gets in like like the other night, uh, the last part of the night he got into a little, a little wool babe. But uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little, and what he does is uh, very funny, you know. It's mm-hmm. entertaining. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. You know, I want to ask you also about how times have changed. Do you think the music is more accepted now, and people? really uh, appreciate the intellectual aspects of it, is the, the craft of it now, or, or do you still think that it's still tied closer to the entertainment value? Hmm. Well, I don't know about <laughs> now, but I, yeah. know, I know about before. I know before yeah. people, you know, people loved, loved the jazz music because, like, musicians were treated like doctors and lawyers and stuff, you know. I mean, talking about way back, I remember seeing Duke Ellington's band and yeah. Count Basic band, these guys yeah. in suits and, you know, they, yeah. I looked at, you know, looked up to them and I said, these guys, you know, yeah. be, be like that much. Yeah, time. it was glamorous, it was yeah, glamorous. Yeah, it was, you know. Yeah. And, but, uh, I think the music had done so many, some different kind of turns and stuff, you know, to a lot of people just trying to wonder what it is, you know. Mm-hmm. I think it went so far one time People said, no, oh, oh, wait a minute, what is this? You know? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. So, uh, I don't know, I, I heard somebody say, well, maybe the best music has already been played. <laughs> you know, and if you think about it, you know, you just the young guys that come up now, they have to go back and get all of that music before they can, yeah. before they reach maturity. Uh-huh. So, mm-hmm. so that means, uh, and then I can't see that uh, there's going to be anybody greater than you know, all those people I mentioned before, like uh, Charlie Parker. Yeah. I can't see an alto player being any yeah. better than that. Yeah. You know, maybe sound might be, but uh, yeah. technically. I, I, I think, you know, I think it's been a misnomer well, through the, in the last 20, 30, 20 years or less, maybe, for for uh, jazz players to come up and think that there is going to be a, a change in the music without dealing with what was. When, for the, the, the like, history. Yeah, yeah. history, uh-huh. see. Uh-huh. So now, yeah, I think <clears throat> recently it's, we can see a lot of young guys coming up and these young guys are thinking about, about the, the music, beginning. Yeah. like the best music was, has already been played, because they are realizing and they are, they are approaching it like that is the school of thought. Uh-huh. That is the basis, the background by which, um, you know, the, 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 the base by which this music should be built. Now it, it is now it is going into its own time. You know, we're letting time be the thing that determines what, well, how it is being expressed, and not trying to play something different than what it was. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Uh huh. Yeah, because time will do it. Because it sounds the instruments will help time do it for you know the way they're making instruments, the way they make the new drum. 
Yeah. Well, now, not only that, they're making electric drums. You yeah, know. yeah. That's a sound that you didn't hear before. Yeah. And that has yeah. to take you someplace else. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then they're making, mm -hmm. uh, they, they got this sense of sizes. I can't even say that word. <laughs> 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 you got all of this stuff that really changes the music up, you know. It's like a... Insensitive sizes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For one well, or better funny. word. <laughs> You better watch it. You, somebody Excuse sees you, and you won't get it. You Excuse won't get me. a free app or something. Yeah, you better yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better cut this off right here. Yeah, <laughs> Could you delete that section? <laughs>